Hello, Hello Floss Tube. We're, We're the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch. I'm Priscilla. And I'm Chelsea. And this is Ronnie. And Cash is watching Nikki. And we're here to talk to you about our stitching this week. First off, we'd like to say thank you so much for uh, the comforting comments, the prayers, everything, your support through um, a difficult time in our lives. Uh, we haven't read all of the comments and I know that we will go back and read them right now. It's just a little painful. So we are beginning our healing process and we're just thankful for your support and your patience and we appreciate it. Mm -hmm. um, we had, so last week was um, supposed to be the 15 giveaway. So we'll do that today. And then we had a lot of questions between the two videos. Sue wanted to know, are Monaco and Lugana the same kind of fabric? They're both even weaves and I think Lugana comes in 28. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Cause that's what they use for the jar. But Lugana is softer. Okay. Casey, do you sew the edges of your fabric to keep it from raveling? Mm -mm. We just kind of trim up the threads. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no fuss mess. Uh, Kelly, where do you find the Santa jingle bells? Have a oh. Pat wanted to know, have you said what state you live in? Yes, many times. <laughs> Illinois and she lives in, over the Wisconsin. border of Wisconsin. Uh, Chrissy, what difference do you find between the Aura Floss and DMC? I, I don't really see that much difference in it that I could even point out anything. I think the Aura Floss is a little bit smoother and... Is it shinier too? Yeah, and it bit? doesn't um, fray as often as the DMC for me. Oh, okay. Missy, how do you get the ribbons to attach to the top of the ornaments? I glue them. Hot glue. Hot glue. Okay. Connie, one more time. Can I have the name and designer for Liberty Lane that was behind there? So it's Country Cottage Needleworks. Yeah, Country Cottage Needleworks. I stitched it last year in July, and I know it's on my blog in July last year. Okay. Sheila, where do you find the ribbons you use for finishing? Do you buy by the roll or by the yard? What do you do? By the roll. Usually Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joanne Fabrics, all the main stores. Yeah. Kesmas, have you just fenced off an area for the vegetable garden or is it a communal grass area? So I, I like share a grass, right? I share a grass area with my neighbors and that's fenced off. I, I don't know, I don't know it's how that your works. yard. It's not my like, property line, but I mean the grass, like there's not a stopping point, but we, we fenced it off. It, it, well, it? you had a fence there before you put the garden in. Yeah, so I have a picket fence around my entire backyard so that the kids and the chickens can play. And then I have um, a garden fence to keep the chickens out of the garden. Um, and the holes are big enough that they just don't break. <laughs> <laughs> the night of the funeral, something happened and the chickens got out and they ate some of my tomatoes on the bottom and I was so upset. Um, okay. Shannon, do you ever get tomato hornworms? No, I have seen pictures of these things and no thank you. Yes, they're bad. They're I've yicky. Never had them. Yicky. Squash bugs are gross too. Yeah. Kathy, what do you use to cut circles out of sticky board? Scissors. Scissors. She traces like a bowl or a... Copy whatever, cup. Yeah, whatever you mm -hmm. got. Just not a radon because those aren't round. <laughs> <laughs> um, cookie stitch, what model KitchenAid do you use for your cookies, not your hair? Shoot, I don't even know. It's the aqua one. <laughs> Mine's My, like 20 years old and it works fantastic. Right, and it used to be mine and it was a black one and I, I don't know, I had a bunch of credits because I had gotten a bunch of stuff for Christmas that I didn't want and I... Those Christmas sweaters that you used to get. No, that's how I bought my first one. <laughs> you used to get I these sweaters. Of, and sweaters with all like the doodads and ribbons and pom poms and like you press a button and it plays music. No, too. they were not like that. <laughs> no, but that was how I got my first one. And then uh, I decided I wanted the aqua one because the same thing happened where I had credits. I think the Macy's or something. But she doesn't like the newer one as much. It's not my, as powerful. Uh, right. So she's got the good one, but my first speed was broken on it, so it went automatically up. <laughs> right. So when I, I have to put the cover over it and just like pray because the it, flower it just, goes just everywhere. Pulled out too much hair. <laughs> uh, Suzanne, where do you get large sticky board over twenty five inches? You don't. You have to figure out a way to put them together, which is what I do when I do like the Tape. ABCs from Little House. No, not tape. I use I use other pieces of sticky board, like as a bridge oh. over them, okay. to make it sturdy. What color? Are, Mary wanted to know what color are you using to stitch Glitter Village. What color fabric? 
uh, light gray coffee tea dyed. Teresa, I've had huge caterpillars this year and they're eating everything. Any suggestions? Do you have them? No, we don't. I, I have caterpillars, but mine are like cabbage worms on my cabbage and I'm just saying to heck with it. Um, diatomaceous earth, BT, is it called? I don't know. I think there's a BT powder you can get too. I don't know. I don't know. I feed them to my chickens. Um, so get chickens and ducks. <laughs> But then they eat all your tomatoes, so don't Just get chickens keep them and ducks. Out. <laughs> my, so I let my ducks out of the run every day because they have the babies that are now teenagers just until they're the same size as my chickens so they don't get stepped on, blah, blah, blah. My mom duck has decided she's going to go lay a nest in the neighbor's yard and just comes back for food. So I'm like running a duck daycare for her children that she just gets to flounce off every... I'm just mad about it. And I'm scared that she's going to get attacked by a cat or something. Calvin out there. Hunter's right here. <laughs> uh, Sherry, what kind of fertilizer do you both use? What I use... Was that um, stuff in the beginning? Tone. Biotone. Mm-hmm. Biotone, um, I use worm castings. I use uh, fish fertilizer in the beginning for leaf growth. She uses miracle Grow on her flowers. Mm -hmm. Annette wanted to know what is yard sauce? Roasted tomato sauce. The recipe is on my blog. And she it's just calls it yard sauce because the tomatoes, tomatoes come from the yard. She <laughs> had her first big beef steak ripen the other day. She said it was really good. Mm -hmm. It was either a Kellogg's breakfast or a Dr. White cheese for cheese. I don't know. Her label's just weird. Um, Megan, do you recommend a certain kind of potting soil? When you first started your front gardens, did you till or did you add dirt to build them up? Two questions. Sorry. Um, there was no dirt added and we tilled up, tilled up the grass. And then since then, I have, we did add dirt one time and then I add mulch mostly every year. And you added compost each year. Right. Um, but just shovels of it, not like I filled the whole thing. Yep. She just has a lot of plants packed in there, so she has no weed pressure mm -hmm. because she has all plant pressure. It's great. Uh, okay. Cottage gardener, do you have your raised beds on drip? <laughs> no. Uh, or hand water. I hand water, but I think that's good because I can get out there and check out all the plants and just use that as another relaxing time. Okay. That's all the questions I have for this week. Okay. I got sick somehow in all of this. My little gremlin child. He had his one-year checkup. Uh, apparently, I was supposed to have him off the bottle already. He was drinking milk, but out of a bottle, and now we're completely into sippy cups, and it's going great. It's not. It's, it's awful. So, for previous finishes, this is from Country Cottage Needleworks. I think it's Sunflowers in Summer, and I didn't do the whole chart. I left off the bottom or something and moved part of it up, but I made it into a wreath and did a lot of sunflowers, and I thought I would show you this before I hung it on the door. I think it hangs on my garage door into the house or the bathroom door. I can't mm -hmm. remember. That's before your fabric used to be dark. Dark, dark. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to show you one of Chelsea's previous finishes. This is the old red barn from Little House Needleworks. And the reason why I want to show you this is she stitched it. I finished it. But I have this started too. And I want you guys to all stitch along with me so that I can finish mine before fall. So get yours out and stitch with me. Or if you don't already have it started, start it and stitch with me. So it's a little <laughs> stitch along. She, already, she knows that I can't handle another stitch along right now. Barn so she's doing her own. <laughs> Mine's already the finished product. <laughs> yeah, she's <laughs> overachiever. Okay, and then I had a finish this week, a start and a finish. We had gotten the, uh, what are those called? Part square dance. Square dance. Right, we had gotten the square dance charts from Fat Quarter Shop and I knew I wanted, because I had this right behind us back here and I wanted to get it all finished up. Oh, this so, is back here. Mm -hmm. On top of that, yeah. She changed a few things, she changed a few colors. There's uh, quite a few browns in it, so she just lightened it up. Mm -hmm. right? So I haven't put it on my blog yet, but I hope that it'll be up tomorrow for all of you that wanted to know the colors. Okay. So that's it, so show your stuff. Okay. I don't have many whips, I didn't stitch a lot. Um, and I don't remember what I stitched before everything was going on. So I know I put a few stitches in this uh, two nights ago. This was one of my mania starts, Happy Harvest by Country Cottage Needleworks. This is such a cute one. Mm 
cute bag. This chicken bag. Mickey's notables. I put a few more stitches in this. This is the Prairie School or Santa's 12 Days of Christmas. And then I started the cow. So for eight days of Christmas. Now I don't know that I'm gonna number them because I don't know that I'm gonna do them all. So I might just leave the numbers off. And I'm sticking to DMC on these. I sound disgusting. And then, oh no. I left it on my basket, on my the chart. Yeah. This is Waxing Moon Designs, the house trio, the Christmas house trio. So I did more of this. That's good. I, I'm unorganized lately. But in my Mickey bag, and then I've got my um, Mickey Mouse Ort bags. I'm pretty sad. And then I was. Okay, started something. Yeah, a few stitches, not a ton. Check press two time. Yep. Somebody wanted to know if you're still working on yours. Yes, I have the last chart, and I'm gonna. Well, not the last chart. The last chart Most. that I'm doing. Okay. I'm not doing them all. I don't know if I've told you guys that. Probably, but it doesn't hurt to say it again. <laughs> all right, that's my whips. Not a ton. I was talking, or well, I was thinking about it last night and I think I'm gonna start, I know that sounds so stupid, but I think I'm gonna start a whole new project just to kind of clear my brain. And I'm gonna find something that I've always wanted to start and I'm gonna start that. Get all the floss for it and everything packaged in a neat little thing and start there. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so while I waited for Chelsea this morning, I worked on the, what, what, do we know what this is? Honey, honey bee sampling? ABC, ABC bees. It's from Little House Needleworks. It's Punch Needle. And I'm almost done. I'm going to finish it today because all my bee stuff is out. You know, we got a lot to do. We I brought a lot of squash, so we're going to make zucchini casserole. That recipe's on my blog if you have a lot of zucchini. Yeah. And you can freeze it. And it's amazing. Zucchini casserole has tomatoes, a little bit of onion in it, uh, cheese, it, and then some fresh herbs. herbs, and it's very, very good. Very good. Also, while we were gone this week, it was our two year plus two anniversary. Mm -hmm. So we've been doing this for two years. Monday. Who would have thought? Oh, and this this is the square we chart. It, so we hadn't seen a lot of people. Um, we There were some people we hadn't seen for a very long time, and we were trying to explain what we do, and it was like, to like my older brother's friends who are like in their thirties and they're like, oh, okay. And she's like, no, here, let me show you. Here, here we are. <laughs> he subscribed. Yeah, he's <laughs> subscribed. He's like, I'll watch this at work. And we're like, no, no it's okay. <laughs> All right, this was the heart and hand square dance. And then another lady came up to us and she was like, you remember me, don't you? And I was like, oh, she's like, I follow your blog. Oh. <laughs> September with all those chickens. Look mm -hmm. at it. I can't wait to do that one. So September in like the monthlies is usually like school stuff. Yeah, and I don't like that. So <laughs> she doesn't have kids in school anymore. I didn't use the buttons and I made some little tiny bees online. <coughs> mm -hmm. So you'll be able to see that when the pictures. Okay, and then for my Jolly July, I ended up missing five days. So she doesn't know if she's going to make them up or just kind of throw them in later on or if she even liked them anymore. You know, you pick some and then you look at them and you're like, meh, I can live without that right now. Okay, but so I decided to start, I don't remember if I showed this last week or not. No, you did not. This is the Prairie School. You decided this afterwards because I was going to copy because I pulled out mine. Not this, but the other one. But I decided to use that wood fabric. And I think that these are going to be amazing on it. And I am using, you know, my rule DMC with Prairie Schooler. No, fancy gloves. So no. Yeah, so she's changing it up. But I started the chicken. This it seems so weird to me. Yeah, I know. I don't it's like not it. a um, book. You took my good one, though. So I'm I know starting. I have it. No, I have it. I'll, get, I'll get it back. I, ha I know trade. where it is. I know exactly where it is. This, this is Barbara Anna Through the Woods, I yeah. think. Through the Woods, Barbara Designs. She um, does color. Yes, she, the chart. I mean, yeah, but her chart. But the chart is in color and in black, black and, and white. white. Like she adds a lot to her. She does chart. both. And that was on uh, like, it's like a rose colored um, 
Monaco that she like double, triple dunked coffee tea dyed to make it dark. And then I dyed it with tan red dye. Okay. I did some more on my old red barn and I'm doing this on the, I should have folded this better when I put it in because now it's all wrinkly. Mm -hmm. But what, I got my hair done this week and I just grabbed this one to stitch there, so. Cash is out there running laps of grandpa in the front yard. I can see him out the window. <laughs> <laughs> my glitter village. Oh, for somebody who asked, I didn't write it down and I apologize, uh, but this is, it's like a gray coffee tea dye. So this is the- No, I, I answered it, you asked it. I know, but I, I just wanted to show her. Okay, so then I finished number seven. I did it all in one day. So you can start and finish these all in one day if you, and I did all my regular stuff too. I couldn't, I couldn't go to bed until I finished it. It was really ridiculous. But stitching, gardening, all that is helping us, you know, just keeping busy. Mm -hmm. We did like poster boards and things like that. We had memory boards. Yeah, memory boards. Um, I made a slideshow. So we were, we were doing other things as well, which. This was my last start for Jolly July and it was on the 31st and I'm doing what the little it? witch ornament. Dirty hands still, don't worry. I also started the top, the snowman that you did. And I'm doing him on blue. And I have, uh, this is my bag from Dot Dot Goose. <laughs> I had a uh, Halloween Christmas. and a Christmas in the, the cute Halloween So bag. I chose the colors that I knew you would choose so now I can say that you copied me. <laughs> Her color choices are inspired by me. <laughs> it's, I've been using those colors through the whole time. I like it on the blue though. Okay, and then this could get hairy because they're all together, but this, hairy. this is a Christmas tree farm. I'm doing the one with the little truck. Where, which side? That one. I know, I have like starts all over the place. Oh my God, Chelsea. Mm -hmm. Get a grip. And I can't, I can't deal with it, so I have to cut them apart. I can't stitch on little pieces like this. It drives me nuts. Oh, that doesn't matter. I have to like pin it between the couch and me to like pull some tension. I don't know, my hands are arthritic or something. They are not arthritic. Is that a word? This is 2016 Santa, prairie schooler. So a lot of people are bothered by this chart because this leg, there's only three legs and some people have actually added a third leg. Have you decided what you're doing? Four. I, I don't know that it bothers me. All right, so that, that's Just my start on that. Keep it the way it is. Oh. Yeah, you're slacking on your job. Oh, what about this? What's this start over here? That's another Santa. I don't know that I brought it in here. Okay. But I started all the ones that I needed to. That's the chart. This is a B C sampler. I started this, not this year for mania, but the year before. And I need to get it finished up. So somebody said, I knew there wouldn't be any purple in yours. <laughs> Definitely. Ladybug, right? Yep. She chose ladybug and said, you did this while you're in California or something. I did. I think you started it there. Okay. But anyway, I used, uh, the old gold and queen bee for the house. And That's you can pretty. see how it's striped. Um, sticks and twigs for the trees and the roof. And I am not doing the alphabet, so it'll be shorter. Okay. You keep that with it. I'm gonna have a mess Sorry. when this Don't is over. Look. So for Witchy Wednesday, I got more done on, this was one of my Mania starts this year. I can't wait to get those new and Brenda. See Gervain this, I mean, this doesn't bother us. Charts. It doesn't bother us. We if leave enough long, room. If they get long, then I cut them off. Yeah, we leave enough room that if it frays a tiny bit like this, it's not gonna like mess up our um, finishing or anything like that. And with my experience, if I have a quarter of an inch left to finish it, I'm good. <laughs> she means with my experience. <laughs> My experience with finishing Chelsea's. So I got the good. the T, the stars, and the 31 all finished up. Good job. So that was what I did the past two weeks. So 
I'm so hungry sitting here. My stomach was just growling. Okay. Um, so we had a lot of gifts and... Did you get any help? I have no idea. Okay, so I... We have this on the table all the time so that we can show you. This is our Fancy Plus favorites from... It's all Classic Color Works from... Fat Quarter. Fat Quarter Shop. And I had to steal one of the flosses out of here. So, so you I bought another one. one. Yeah. And I, of course, got some more... <coughs> this is bamboo, but... Chalk. Chalk. Because things are going to be popping. Um, and you should Made popcorn. Be, you should be able to see soon the next jar. So it comes out later this month. You guys hear the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse song in the background? And the baby's outside. <laughs> We're watching it. Um, okay, this stuff now? Sure. We got a lot of gifts, a lot of nice cards. A lot um, of, yes. Thank you, Fat Quarter, Kimberly, Kevin, Denise, uh, for the beautiful floral arrangement for mm -hmm. Patrick's um, services. services. We appreciate it. It was beautiful. And hydrangea, like it was, it was beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, and then this was from Sarah. So she sent this beautiful card. And you guys, when we got this in the mail, it was... No, like, that stays on there. Oh, okay. I think. Yeah, probably. Can you guys see? It says cash. This is amazing with the buffalo check. It's a book that you fold to make the letters. And she does... Was her business card in here because she sells them? Or can you say her... I can't see. Sadie Grace in the comments. Yeah, Sadie Grace. Does she have a, a Etsy? She has a Facebook page, one piece at a time. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. So this is we'll going up on we'll the shelf. We'll link that below. I have to adjust that um, ribbon to be around the center, but once it stands up. Uh, this was from, I'm like not. Leo LeMay Designs. The, the retreat that we are doing in September. But that's like right around the, we have to I get know. our butts in gear, guys. I know. I, right. I saw comments last night that people are already stitching it, so. This and this. They're magnetic boards, and they sent one for each of us, plus one to give away. We're not going to do it today. Okay, so if you're like us and you don't use needle minders, and you really want a needle minder, you can use one of these magnetic boards. You put your chart on it, like this, and then you stick your magnet on it, and mm -hmm. it's cute, and it holds your chart. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Just a little plug for Ronnie. Sorry. Yeah, Ronnie. She's still at the back corner shop. <laughs> she's really here with us. Her, her <laughs> mag. Yeah, she's sleeping on the chair next to me. <laughs> Rolling her eyes at the Mickey Mouse. All right. And then we got cards, of course. This was from Cecilia. Beautiful cards and from beautiful heart, heart and hand designs. She sent us a card, a sympathy card, and we were so grateful for that. Thank you. Then this is um, LaDonna. Yes. LaDonna. LaDonna is putting on the other retreat that we are doing in Brains Virginia in, what month are we going there? April. April. My husband's trying to like build a trip around that. After we're done with the retreat, he's like, well, I'd really like to see. Listen, buddy. This is from Rich. Yes, this is from Rich and the, Simon. Our friend that makes the, the rag, rag garlands, garlands in overseas. England. Mm -hmm. Sherry. Sherry, sorry. Sherry. And this is uh, Teresa. Then this is uh, from Gabriel. He wanted to make yes, sure that we got he it. Made he it. Ma yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Gabriel's also a quilter. He um, met Kimberly down in Las Vegas, mm -hmm. and they had a big joke over her mom calling remember. him Gabrielle. Mm -hmm. And I was like, no, it's Gabriel. And Gabrielle would have an <laughs> L and an E at the end. <laughs> Oh wow! Yes, it's very, is, it's awesome. Yes, like embossing folder. Yes, it's amazing. I'm trying to read these. This is Sharon. 
This is Deb's. Oh, she better made this one too. This is Pat. This is beautiful. I think that's a thank you card for something. Maybe yes, a it's a thank you card. And it's embossed too. Mm -hmm. I miss card making days, but I kind of don't in that way. <laughs> so much work. Tedious. Debbie. Debbie Pat. She uh, made us, you know, the big bags. bags. Yeah. And project bags, but she also made us the big bags that we use all the time. I think she made us our first project bags, didn't she? Yes. This is pretty. Mm -hmm. This was from uh, Joyce. Joyce, this is a beautiful card too. Merry Christmas in July, tis the season. <laughs> Remember, she made us, um... Denise. Yeah, the those little chickens that her husband carved out of wood. Yes. But she sent us a snowman card because she loves seeing all the Jolly July. And, was, uh, and the, it's all full of glitter and the moment. table's full of... <laughs> Confetti. Poinsettia glitter and... This is from Jessica. You can see it there. Jessica sent us um, some Madame Chantilly. This is um, embroidery, right? Yeah. This is uh, set for a giveaway. So future video, you'll see that. And then this is from Chris. Chris also sent us a lot of people. Um, they might have had duplicates or they look through mm -hmm. their stuff and they're like, I'm not going to stitch this ever. So I'm going to uh, gift it to you guys to give away. So that's why you see people sending us charts for giveaways mm -hmm. often. Just or if we want to keep them. Yeah. But we don't need this one. <laughs> So that and then this was from uh, Pretty Southern Linda Jo. She sent us these beautiful Ray Dunn thank you cards. Mm -hmm. So sweet. And she said, don't send one back to me. Because <laughs> that's what would happen. Uh, whoa. This is from Barbara. Oh, this box is full of charts. Look at, okay, first of all, look at this card. I want to frame this. It's like, see. Okay, oh, we're not going to show them all, right? No, but I just want to show a couple. Oh my. Mm -hmm. Shut up. Yeah. Shut up. There's a few pretty schoolers that we don't have, and just. I mean, okay. Tons. I love this guy so much. You I see. have that started. I know. Yeah. This cranberry Christmas we don't have. Thank it's you so much. A lot. And There's a lot. We are so appreciative. And your card is perfect, Barbara. And then we got this beautiful card. And she didn't want us to mention her name. And she sent us a ton of farm fabric. Beautiful farm fabric. These will be made into quilts or things for caches. Look at these. I also wanted curtains for the chicken coop. Is that psycho? I don't know. Look at these. <laughs> Kimberly, if you're listening, if you could just whip up some uh, <laughs> quick curtains for the chicken coop. That's a place where you could use drop cloths. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, uh, these first, and then we'll do. Did you already say this? Yeah. One? Um, the, wow. All right, this is from R and they M have a shop. Creative Design. So R, the letter, and M, the letter, uh, Creative Designs. And it's on mom Etsy, and daughter. On Etsy. So they gave us some cards, and they made us beautiful cards. Look at these ornaments. They stitched them, and then they're like those where they do the triangles where they're pieced. They've got the year on it, so they've got a little charm. Right there with the year. And they said if we stitch something special for Patrick that they'll finish it into one of these ornaments for us. I was thinking about doing that year chart with the pig. Mm -hmm. So um, Patrick's um, nickname is Piggles. So there's lots of pigs going on right now. And then also uh, Superman because he fought so, so hard all the time. Um, so the person, I wanted to say a special thank you to the person who made us the onesie for cash. Um, and she also made the princess banners, but the Superman onesie, he got to wear that um, a lot recently. So thank you so much. We appreciate that. All right. Um, now, do you want to go to the give or this? Oh, this is what's the, new at Fat Quarter. I, I didn't get to watch that much plus two, but I did watch Lori at Once Upon a Stitch and she 
mentioned what was going on and we appreciate your yeah, we do. kindness. We're trying not to cry. So we're, we're saying it without saying, you know? Um, okay. And this was from Fat Quarter Shop. So they sent us what's new. And there are going to be future giveaways. Square Dance. So this is uh, July, August, September. You know, they're bunches of threes by Heart and Hand. Another Heart and Hand is Patchwork Sheep. Is that, cute. Don't you see that right? Heart and Hand, Needle and Thread. Autumn Whirly Gig with a squirrel. Jack for Us, part six. This is the pine tree. Summer Seascape by uh, Country Cottage Needleworks. And this was like a re-release, right? Mm -hmm. So she had these out and yeah, then she I had never seen them. retired them and then she brought them back because so many people wanted them. Uh, this is Heart and Hand Farm, oh, Farmhouse Bird. I didn't see this. That's mm -hmm. cute. Mm -hmm. She has a lot of these birds, right? Birds, yes. Uh, Peace, Love, and Purpose by Plum Street Samplers. So since you want to start something new, does that mean you're going to the Crossroads store with me when I have to get thread for the new farm yeah. house? As long as it's not Tuesday. Um, Plum Street Samplers Llama Lump. And... And autumn, Chalala. That's cute too. Okay, so these will all be coming to you guys in future giveaways. As well as, this was our Fabric of the Month Club, right? Yes, so Fat Quarter Shop has a Fabric of the Month Club and you get either you can sign up a linen 28 or linen ADA. Or, or 14 ADA. So this is the linen, this is 28 count um, lamb's wool. Is this the first month that it's going yes. out? Okay. And then this is lamb's wool. So same color. So you'll get a different color each month, right? So I'm thinking I'm going to try to dye this. And then I'm going to try to stitch on it. And then this is Ada. I can't stand you going too outside the box. I mean, all your finishing is already outside the box. If you could just like stay in the box <laughs> for the stitching. Because I don't want to. Well, you know I can't stitch on plain fabric. So. I know. So, so again, it's not gonna work. Thank you, Fat Quarter. I might have had a haul from them. I might have to look in my stuff at home. All right. Did I do this? This was the book. Okay. And then um, now we're we going on to giveaways. Yes. Okay. So again, we had 15 giveaways, and I can't tell you how uplifting it was to read all the comments about like your favorite moments with us. It was it was nice to read after um, this hard time. So most comments were geared towards me picking up Calvin and being maimed by him. So thanks. <laughs> um, also like growing up with, uh, growing with Cash and mom's mixer and the eye rolls mom gives me apparently when I'm not looking. So. And funny. Gary the monkey. I yes. saw a lot of those. Somebody flipping through the photos. <laughs> I mean, some of you have like really detailed. Yes. <laughs> uh, David pulling out the bush. That was yeah, with the <laughs> car. My suburban. I follow a garden, gardening uh, group on Facebook and somebody said, is, is this okay to do? And they had it like tied up to their car. And I was like, oh God, no. <laughs> All right. All right. So here's the list. So we had 15,000 subscribers, but we did one extra. So 16 giveaways two did weeks ago. Did we have ago. 16 or was I, was yeah. I miss, you, me, what, we don't know. <sighs> we got them all though. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Number one was the chalk full, harvest chalk full fat quarter shop kit. kit. Um, so you get the pattern, the cloth, the classic color works, and the gentle arts chalk, and you get everything you need to start stitching it up. So the first winner of this is Jill Webb, W-E-B-B. If you haven't followed us for long, our information is in the description box below. You have to email us and make sure you tell us which number you won. So you won number one, Harvest Chalk Full Kit. And if you have a YouTube name that is not your name, make sure you let us know. Yes. Because so I'm have, i going to write out. a list on the table so she can mark them off, but I'm going to write it by what I have, which is your YouTube name. So Jill okay. Webb, number one, Harvest Chalk Full Kit from Prep Quarter. Okay, and then if you email us and we don't respond to you within 24 hours, email us again because we have had problems with our Gmail email. These past two weeks, we've been catching mm -hmm. up on email, so I am finally going back in. Just think e Everything patience. from two weeks ago, though, is out of here. <laughs> you yeah. did it? Yeah. You I oh, out in the mail, you said. Okay. Wednesday. I thought you meant emails. All right. This. Number two is the same thing from Fat Quarter Shop, Harvest Chalk Full Kit. Uh, this is from, or this goes to Leah Blakeney. Leah, get a hold of us through email. 
Number three is the Fabric Flare 28 count white wash board, again, from courtesy of Fat Quarter. And so you could stitch the little house <coughs> needleworks. What's that barn? The Sunflower Manor? No, no. it's not Sunflower Manor. That's <laughs> Old Red Barn. Old Red Barn. Old Red Barn. You could stitch with, with me. mom. That's her stitch along. What's your hashtag? Throw it out there right now. I'm all alone. <laughs> you see old red barn. Oh my god. Jeez. Number three. Let's throw a pity sal for Priscilla. All right. Number three is the fabric flare whitewash board, courtesy of Fat Quarter. It goes to Kathy Kyler. So congratulations, Kathy. So join the pity sale. <laughs> I still have to find something to stitch on this. Number four is the red barnwood fabric. You're going to just make sure that I'm saying the right thing, okay? Um, that you didn't like out of order these. Number four. I didn't touch them after they went in there. Patty Gagliardi. I'm sorry if I butcher any of your names. Just yell at me in the email, okay? Number five. Again, courtesy of Fat Quarter, this is the wood color of fabric flare. These are all 28 That's, counts. It's 18 inches by 27 inches. That's what I'm using for my farmhouse Christmas animals preschool. Number five goes to Dee Dee Rose 17. Congratulations. That old red barn would look really good on that too. Number six. My Country Kit. My Country Kit, uh, courtesy of Fat Quarter. This is uh, the floss, the uh, fabric, the 14 count Ada, which is called a color called lamb's wool. And then the chart by Country Cottage Needleworks. This it goes In a little to- tin. This goes to Karen E. K Karen with a K. Number seven is a stitching with the Housewives canvas tote bag for all of your whips that you've started because of us and a ran. Number seven goes to Sherry Ward. Number eight. Farm Girl Vintage book. Farm Girl Vintage by Lori Holt. This is the quilt book. They'll have a new one beautiful. next month. Beautiful. Yeah. Yes, beautiful. This goes to Cynthia Reader. So number eight is the Farm Girl Vintage Quilt Book by Lori Holt. Right, so courtesy of that quarter shop. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, look at this. It's just a wheelbarrow. I just want this wheelbarrow. <laughs> okay. With 12 quilts. <laughs> right. Here with 12 Yes, please. Next up, number nine, right? Yep, Vintage Christmas, Lori Holt. This it goes to Brenda Ross. So congratulations. Wait until you see the pictures. Okay. You'll be drooling. <laughs> Number 10 is the set of three LaDonna. I had to find it for. It was right where they're supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> Number, what number are we at? 10? Number 10 from LaDonna. This Same is Sampling of Memories. Of memories. She's the one hosting the uh, retreat in April in, in Virginia. Virginia. But she makes all these and she has an Etsy shop and you can buy these at your local needle workshops too. But there's yeah. a, a thread keep, a scissor fob, and a needle minder. So the winner is Joe Wick. J-O Wick. Congratulations. Number 11 is the Sweet Christmas Apron mm -hmm. and Tea Towels. Mm -hmm. I'll just model this for you. Don't. You'll be too romantic. <laughs> I think it's very romantic. <laughs> like right up here. Just... <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna get used to merchandise if you wear oh, them. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll give you mine. Um, used merchandise goes to eleven. Number eleven, Margaret Lyons. So congratulations, Margaret. We want a selfie in your apron. Number twelve. Mm -hmm. Star Spangled Swine Kit Farm Kit from Fat Quarter Shop, and that's uh, my collaboration with Hands on Design. And that goes to Graceful Stitcher, number 13. Lori Holt Stitch Cards. And all the stuff with it, right? Bags and floss. This? Yes. All right, number, you said 13? 13. Mm -hmm. 13 is Lori Holt's Be In My Bonnet Stitch Cards. You get all four of these. You get the DMC kit. You get the floss flowers. And you get this bag. The winner of that is Janelle Stager, Stoger Stager, S-T-O-E-G-E-R. 
Number, is 14 the same? Yes. Okay. Number 14. Oh, and that's number 15. Okay. Number 14 is the same. Number 14 goes to Andrea Schultz. So congratulations. You won the Lori Holt kit. Also from Fat Quarter Shop. And then number 15. Sampling of memories. Uh, needle minder, floss ring, and the <coughs> scissor pop. Sorry, excuse me. Winner goes to Linda Biggerstaff. Congratulations. Again, in your email, make sure that you say what number you won and what you won, just to make it clear for us. Okay, and then this last prize, if you can't accept it, like if you're Miss America and you can't accept a crown and you have to give it back, we will pick award another it to person. somebody else. I can go back through the comments and pick mm -hmm. somebody else. Um, you're, the um, retreat you're still, is in Virginia, and it's the uh, it's it's linked below. It's the registration fee only... <laughs> and you still have to pay for your room and your transportation to get there. Yes. But we're super excited. But the registration fee that covers your kit and yeah, all the other festivities, I think. Festivities. Okay. All right. So the winner for that is number 16, Tara Sullivan. And that is congrats or thanks to LaDonna. Right. Sampling of Memories. So thank you so much, LaDonna, for giving us that. And the Facebook group that you can learn more info about that retreat is listed below. I believe it's full. Love to stitch retreat. Yeah, but I feel, I feel like it's full, right? I think so, yes. But you can get more information or if she's going to have more, whatever right. the case may be, just click and you can be taken to that Facebook page. She does all of her work on Facebook as well, like the Midwest Cross Stitch Retreat. They did their information on Facebook. Mm -hmm. That's yes, just... and then there's like a group where only the people that are going can see what's going on. Yep. There's two groups, the one that anybody can join to get more information, and then the second one, once you pay your money, you're in. It's like an exclusive type right. thing where some of the projects are And then they can share exclusive. what they're stitching when they get their kits. Right. Okay. That's, so that was the winners for this. But now okay. we've got a floss tube anniversary extravaganza. So make sure when you email us that you, and you have a week to... <laughs> <laughs> you have seven days this time. Yes. We'll be back next week. <laughs> you have a week to tell us that you won because we don't want 15 things languishing on the table. So. Doesn't bother me. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> anyway, email us, tell us what you won, tell us your YouTube name if you have one, and then if you don't get a response from us like in graceful 24 stitcher, hours. We'll need to know your graceful stitcher in there as yes. well when you email us okay so we will respond back to you in 24 hours when we get a hold of you i'd say like 24 to th oh i just moved up sorry all right now we've got and then you put your width right on it <coughs> okay so first of all we have two of these little, I don't know if you remember from the last video, Chelsea stitched this and I finished it into an ornament for her. Merry making free. This is all courtesy of Fat Quarter Shop. That's a heart and hand chart. These are really small. And then we're throwing in two weeks dye works floss, but they don't Coordinate. go with, right? This could, it could, it could. And then one package of the ballpoint needles. So there's two needles in each one of those, but we have two of those. Okay, two of those. So that's number one or two. Mm -hmm. Number three. Number three is Country Cottage Needleworks Glitter House. Which number is that? Number eight. Along with a Glitter House Village Needle Minder. All courtesy of Fat Quarter. Did I mention I was hungry? That's number hungry. three. Numbers, you can just put number four because they're all the same. Okay. We have eight. Of these eat, sleep, stitch, repeat by Lori Holt charts. So you'll get the chart. And these are really quick to stitch up. And I don't know if you guys saw, but Kimberly made a bag out of hers and it's adorable. And there's a free tutorial instructions yep. on their channel and I think their blog. So 11 giveaways total uh, this week, um, but all you have to do is number one, two, three, or four. Mm -hmm. You're going to answer. All these are number four, so we'll just pick eight people that want number four. Uh, what are they going to answer? I want to know, like you said, you want to start something that you've always wanted to start. What chart are you wanting to start, or what chart are you stitching right now? What's your favorite chart right now? What about you? 
My favorite chart right now isn't in my hands yet, but it's gonna be. You always say that. There's no like unicorn chart out there that you want? I, uh, those, the birds of, the, of a feather, Santas. little Christmas ornaments. No, we oh. have all the Santas. Oh. The Christmas ornaments. That's okay. the only thing I can think of. But no, I want to stitch my stuff. I know. All right. So, um, winners of- Farmhouse Chalk should be coming for me to stitch next week. Hopefully, I'm going to get started on that. So. Okay. All right. I can't wait. I think that's it. So again, thank you. Thank you for your support. Right. Or... Don't say giveaway. Oh yeah. Be a subscriber. Like the Be video. Be a subscriber. Like the video and say one, two, three, or four. You can enter for all four. It doesn't matter. And then tell us what your unicorn, not your unicorn, but what chart you want to start or your, your stitching right now is your favorite. What's your favorite chart right now? And then follow us on Instagram at Priscilla Blaine at Chelsea 356, Priscilla's 2000 on Facebook and Priscilla's 2000.blogspot.com where you can read more about everything that we do. And I always add my color choices there for all of you that have questions about that. And we also have our Stitching with Housewife shirts and bags and Ronnie and our floss Ron. pack that is Ron. amazing for everything you stitch. So... Sleeping. Those She's are not all right now. Those are all available at the Fat Quarter Shop. But I hope you'll join me to stitch the old red barn so I can get it done. Because I know if I have a stitch uh. along for it, I'll do it. So her pity party. <laughs> Priscilla's <laughs> pity party. Hashtag um, old red barn. PC, PC old, old red, red barn. barn. Maybe it should just be P old red barn. <laughs> just kidding. Oh, we went to the state fair, and yes, yes. Cash had his first. Wisconsin. Uh, Wisconsin State Fair, Cash had his first cream puff cream and he puff. went on the big slide. First time around, he was like mm -hmm. rumpy. Yeah. <laughs> Second time around, I put his hands up and he was ready to go. It was exciting. And the best thing that we ate when we were there <laughs> were oh my God. fried stuffed green olives. So they stuff them with stick. cream cheese and then they batter, batter them and they fry them. And then they put them on a stick. We didn't know that that was like a common thing, but it's so good. And then the second time around we went there, uh, we had bacon. Because we just each like took one off of the, mm -hmm. even the kids liked them. Yep. Um, bacon wrapped, wrapped ones that had jalapeno cream cheese in it. And mm -hmm. those weren't as good as the the basic model. Mm -hmm. And if you get your finishing inspiration from us, tag us, tag my blog. We'd love to see your projects. And we're sorry that last week we were kind of MIA, but I'm sure that you guys all understand mm -hmm. so yeah we put out a community board so a lot of people saw that so we thank you for looking there um but we're we getting get ready comments. to in the next couple of weeks to do another garden tour so next week probably next week yeah oh, i was thinking we'd have no we need to do it next week before everything just falls to <laughs> he double hockey <-E> <laughs> 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 why is it just... gonna fall like that in two weeks because, i don't know because all my stuff is just eh Kind of mm -hmm. me. Mine's looking pretty fabulous. I know. Hers is looking really good. I like skipped out of watering my flowers for a week, so it's, they're dead. <laughs> I'm ripping them out. They're dead. No, they're not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My Priscilla's petunias are looking like. Because <laughs> <Okay, laughs> they're all alone stitching the little red barn. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much. Thank you again, Kimberly, for at the Fat Quarter Shop for all you do for us and it's especially nice for you to send those flowers for the service. It was wonderful. And all of you that sent us cards and well wishes and messages and gifts. Again, and, we will go through and read them. Oh my goodness. We yes. appreciate it. Okay, so we will see you guys next week.